Hi, Dr. Paul here. We've got a video today showing you a couple twins in my practice today who came in for pink eye. This was a rapidly progressive pink eye. They were fine yesterday and they both got it. Their nanny happened to have pink eye and it's one of those things sometimes it was rapidly progressive. Thought you could learn from this because it segues into periorbital cellulitis. One of them starting to develop that and it shows you that slight difference between the simple pink eye and what's becoming a periorbital cellulitis that you don't want to miss. That was periorbital cellulitis. Thanks for watching. Job. You're a good dancer. So look at this eye. So this is a very interesting eye. We have some goop in it. The, the lower palpebral conjunctiva right there is quite red, goopy. And you see a little redness that's starting to develop around the eye. So when you have pink eye, it starts off with just a little goop in the eye. Mama too. And usually we can just treat that with eye drops. But then if it starts to get... Uh oh, dancing time. When it starts to get around the eye and you start to get swelling of the eyelids, that's when we worry about a periorbital cellulitis, which is a much more significant infection because if you have that infection, that tissue swelling that's starting to now track behind the eye, then you can get an orbital cellulitis, which could be like an abscess behind the eye. You could actually lose vision. Obviously, we're not going to let that happen. Oh, guess what? Did you bump? Look at these eyes. We have two eyes that are kind of like that. We've got the red lower lid, both sides, and you dance too. This is dancing with pink eye. And actually, you got your pink eye first with a little bit of discharge developing, and then just today we're starting to see some redness around the eyes. And then actually, brother here, his went bam just in one day with that one eye that you just saw, getting a lot more, there you go, infected. So that's pink eye. Bacterial pink eye will, will look like this and is rapidly progressive is what happened with both these little ones. Uh, within 24, 36 hours went from normal to not just copious amounts of discharge pus coming from the eyes, but the redness and swelling developing around the eyes. So we treat an early just pink eye with some antibiotic eye drops. If it was a newborn, you just put a little bit of breast milk as long as it's not a bad infection. But once you've got a bacterial infection spreading into the tissue as it is, you're starting oral antibiotics, if not injectable, uh, rocephin, ceftriaxone when you're getting really worried, which is the equivalent of doing IV antibiotics. Or if you're really concerned, like if this progresses and those eyes are sealed shut, it's off for a... MRI or CT scan to make sure there's no abscess and IV antibiotics. We're not going to get there, folks. We're jumping on this. We're going to do antibiotic eye drops and some oral augmentin, which is a mox clav, and they're going to get better. But I just wanted you to see a great case. Thank you, dancers. Appreciate your help today. Conjunctivitis, which is pink eye, starting to turn into an early periorbital cellulitis, and we're going to make sure it doesn't go any further than that. Thanks. I'm Dr. Paul. Thanks for watching. Let me get that. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.